In this video, I will walk you through how to fill out the California DE4 form in 2025, also known as the Employees Withholding Allowance Certificate. This form tells your employer exactly how much state income tax to take from each paycheck. Remember, this is only for California state tax. Your federal tax uses the W-4 form. All right, let's go through how to fill out the California DE-4 form step-by-step -step in a simple way. The DE-4 is the Employees Withholding Allowance Certificate, and it tells your employer how much California state income tax to take from your paycheck. This isn't for federal tax, that's your W-4. This one is just for state tax. At the very top, you'll see the Personal Information section. Here, you'll enter your full name, social security number, and your current home address, including city, state, and zip code. Make sure this matches your payroll information exactly so your employer can process it correctly. Next, you'll see Filing Status. You have three options here. Choose Single or Married with two or more incomes if you're single or if both you and your spouse work. Choose Married One Income if you're married and only one of you earns an income. And select Head of Household if you're unmarried and pay more than half the cost of maintaining a home for your dependents. Now, we get to the main part, your withholding allowances. This is where you tell the state how much tax to withhold. On line 1A, you'll enter the number of allowances from Worksheet A, which you can find on page 3. You usually claim one for yourself, one for your spouse if they aren't claiming it on their own form, one if you're blind, one if your spouse is blind, and one for each dependent. Add those up and put that total on line 1A. If you have itemized deductions like mortgage interest or property taxes or other qualified deductions, go to Worksheet B on page 3. It will help you calculate any extra allowances based on those deductions. Write that number on line 1B, then add 1A and 1B together and enter the total on line 1C. That's your total number of allowances. On line 2, you can add an extra dollar amount to be withheld from each paycheck. This is optional and is good if you want to make sure you don't owe more at tax time. You can use Worksheet C on page 4 to figure out how much to add if you're not sure. Now, Lines 3 and 4 are about exemptions. Line 3 is for people who qualify to be exempt from California withholding. That means you didn't owe any federal or state tax last year and don't expect to owe any this year. Only check this box if both apply to you. And remember, if you stay exempt, you have to file a new DE-4 every year by February 15 to keep that exemption. Line 4 is for military spouses. If your spouse is stationed in California under military orders, you're only in California to be with them, and your home state is somewhere else, you can check this box to claim exemption under the Military Spouses Residency Relief Act. Once you're done with those sections, go down to the bottom and sign and date the form. That signature certifies everything you entered is correct. Leave the employer section blank. Your employer fills in their name, address, and payroll account number. Before turning it in, double check your entries, make sure your filing status and allowances are correct. If your situation changes, maybe you get married, have a child, or start a second job, fill out a new DE-4 so your tax withholding stays accurate. If you don't give your employer a completed DE-4, they'll have to withhold at the default rate, which is single with zero allowances, meaning the highest amount of tax will come out of each check. It's also important to fill this honestly. False information can lead to penalties or fines. Once you've signed it, submit the form to your HR or payroll department. That's it! Your paycheck will now have the right amount of California state tax withheld automatically, and you'll be all set for the year. 